body posture? Inherited or learnt? Now, at my mother's funeral about seven years ago, I was really struck by the similarities in body posture between a father and son that I've known, you know, family friends, so I've known them for as long as I can remember. So the son called Patrick was standing in precisely the same body posture as his father, Nicky. Now, I remember Patrick growing up. I, I even babysat for him. And Patrick used to have, you know, average, normal body posture for a teenager. And that's kind of still how I remember him. And all of a sudden, he's standing with this. He suddenly is an adult. I'm making that realisation. But he's standing exactly like his father is, you know, precisely. And it really hit me seeing that. And, you know, I just thought, you know, how it, 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 clearly his body posture has deteriorated from being this slightly more athletic teenager to being a man. I mean, he's a father now. And I, I, I remember thinking on that. And it, it reminds me again, I remember a few years back, I went to a Halloween party and the we're standing by the fire and a friend of mine has gone to go and get um, some drinks and he's coming back towards me and I spot him coming towards me or well actually I don't see him because really he's coming towards me from the fire so all I can actually see is a silhouette I'm not seeing him I see his silhouette and yet I know it's him and I know it's him well, how? I mean, the only thing I can tell is is the body posture. I can't see his face. All I'm seeing is a, a black silhouette. And it's clearly his body posture and, I guess, general shape and outline that I'm seeing. But his body posture, instantly I recognise it's him, you know, without question. So I'm recognising his body posture. So clearly he has a recognisable body posture. Now, it also reminds me of talking to John Silverstone, the osteopath I use and I send a lot of patients to. And he was talking to me about a patient that he has who has a multiple personality disorder. And the patient lives locally, so not infrequently John will, will see her out and about. And he can tell what personality she is exhibiting at that moment from the body posture that she displays. I, I guess it makes sense, but I, I'd never really thought of it in those terms. Of course, you know, I was I was re-watching Jordan Peterson. I mean, love him or hate him, but he's got some interesting ideas. And in his um, 12 rules of life, in the first rule of life, he's talking about standing up straight. And he's talking about that when you have good posture, you're um, psychologically more resilient. And the ratio, your interpretation of the ratio of positive to negative um, incidents in your life is much higher. So you tend to see things more positively. And, you know, he, he wants you to present your, your best self, stand up straight. And he thinks that direct, directly regulates your mood, which I thought was also quite fascinating. Anyway, then... I remember another incident when um, I, 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 got, I was interested in the go clay um, system of um, body posture. You know, she draws from ancestral concepts. And um, I got John Carter to come down and um, teach a session here at the clinic. And I remember talking to him about body posture. And he was telling me that he had um, visited this village in India many times over a prolonged period and clearly it, it was his holiday location and he had always been impressed with how well everyone in this village stood and the, the body posture in this village and clearly he, he's into body posture you know he's teaching it and what shocked him was uh, all of a sudden over a relatively short space of time the whole village changed. It wasn't just that one or two people changed. It seemed the majority, maybe not everyone, but in a huge majority of the entire village, well, their body posture deteriorated in, in, in a definable period. You know, he'd clearly seen them for a period when they hadn't deteriorated and then they did deteriorate. And that that also, that, that's fascinating because clearly they must be feeding off each other. 
And they must be recognising what is normal because whatever everyone else is doing is normal. Now, I would imagine clearly that there's this influence with the young people changing their lifestyle and society moving forwards. And there's this pressure on most people, but for, it to, for the whole lot to go in one period, that's interesting. Now, I, I've looked into the research and the search, it, it tends to suggest that body posture is, it, it doesn't have strong hereditary links, but there are some hereditary links. However, again, this comes into my whole concept that, you know, if you have the same genes and you live in the same environment, you, you will be affected. You know, I talk about this a lot with craniofacial dystrophy and how faces are affective and there are clearly genetic links. There always will be. But it does seem to me that our ancestors, you know, the really far back, you know, if you go to much more indigenous tribes, they stand beautifully. Look at the Masamara, you know, the whole group stand absolutely beautiful. And so clearly there may be some genetic influence, but it's probably genetic influence in the way things go wrong. You know, we should have good body posture. Of course, if you have craniofacial dystrophy, that's going to encourage a forward head posture. And you're likely then, well, that's not going to help your body posture. So clearly there's always this intricate interplay between factors. But I would suggest that we should all have good body posture. We all live in a modern environment, so it's less likely that we will and we'll have craniofacial dystrophy. We'll all be slightly downswung. But... We should, in theory, have good body posture and the way it goes wrong may have familial tendencies. And I certainly think we, we, we learn from the peer, uh, people around us and of course, particularly that would be our parents.